Good evening, everybody. The Missouri Sports Hall of Fame announced nine new members today. They include Dr. John Bailey, the Truman State team physician since 1997, Ben Pitney, the former Truman State basketball coach, Bob Roberts, the current basketball coach at Cairo. Roberts has won 871 games and state championships at Cairo and Atlanta. Also going in, Daryl Knowles, who pitched with Oakland, and Bill Clark, who started the Heart of America Marathon. The 1969 and 71 Truman State football teams. Shane Cavanaugh, the longtime football coach at Marceline and Brookfield, who won a state championship at Princeton. Skip Grossnickel, the former Kirksville football standout who played at Missouri, and Shag Grossnickel, who has done it all in sports from fast pitch softball to introducing wild turkey hunting to the area. Grossnickel thinks his greatest achievement is helping youngsters. Back in the 50s, I helped organize the baseball uh, here in Kirksville. And I've sponsored a Little League baseball team every year since, and I still am. All right, Shag. In high school softball, Kirksville, Sarah Hooper has been named second team All-State. The Southmore outfielder put up great numbers. She had 432, drove in 25 runs, stole nine bases, and had a field, fielding percentage of 929. It's really big, especially as a sophomore. And, like, there's a lot of people that did deserve it, and I'm really honored to get it. Will this make you work harder? Yeah, I feel like getting that title as a sophomore makes me want to get it as a junior and a senior, too, or at least try. As a leadoff hitter, she'd always, you know, get on base uh, consistent. Uh, first inning, second inning, third inning, whenever we needed her, she'd get on base, and we usually scored when she got on base. So pretty uh, typical for her to be successful. In college football, it'll be senior day for 26 Truman State players Saturday as they host Lindenwood at 1. Because for a three-year period, Fred, they've done everything I've asked them to do. They're, we've got a great group of kids. They're hardworking and uh, have been pretty good football players. They provide us some good moments in Bulldog football as well. In college basketball, Indian Hills will host another tournament Friday and Saturday. The Warriors will open up Friday against Mid-Michigan at 7, a team that is coached by Mount Pleasant native Caleb House. His teams like to run. They have a lot of quickness from the guards, and so they'll really be able to ball handle, and so we have to eliminate that a little bit, try to keep them out of the paint. They really have some good creators for, the, for their team that way. 